Thank you. I uh, welcome members to the 29th meeting in 2014 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. As always, ask members to turn off their mobile phones, please. Agenda item one is a decision on taking business in private. It's proposed that we take eight, item eight in private. This is consideration of a paper by the clerk and correspondence from the Cabinet Secretary for Justice in connection with instruments relating to the EU opt-out. Does the committee agree to take item eight in private, please? Thank you. Um, we should also note in line with previous decisions that items six and seven will also be in private. Agenda item two is instruments subject to affirmative procedure. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the mutual recognition of criminal financial penalties in the European Union Scotland number one order 2014 draft, nor on the public bodies joint working integration scheme Scotland regulations 2014 draft, nor on the public bodies joint working national health and wellbeing outcomes Scotland regulations 2014 draft, nor on the public bodies joint workings prescribed health board function Scotland regulations 2014 draft, nor on the public bodies joint workings prescribed to local authority functions etc Scotland regulations 2014 draft nor on the Scotland Act 1998 functions exercisable in as regards or as regards Scotland order 2015 draft nor the Scotland Act 1998 Tweed sorry River Tweed amendment order 2015 draft do members have any comments please none out Committee may wish to note that the versions of the Public Bodies Joint Working Prescribed Health Board Functions Scotland Regulations 2014 draft and the Public Bodies Joint Workings Prescribed Local Authority Functions at Scotland Regulations 2014 draft replace earlier versions which were withdrawn by the Scottish Government as they contained errors. One of the instruments contained an error which the Committee's legal advisers considered amounted to defective drafting. Both instruments also contained large numbers of minor errors, most of which have been corrected. Is the committee otherwise content with these instruments, please? Thank you. Agenda item three is instrument subject to negative procedure. The sulphur content of liquid fuels, Scotland regulations 2014, SSI 2014, 258. The regulations contain a couple of minor drafting errors. Regulation 4.1, which prohibits the use of certain heavy fuel oils, states that it is subject to Regulation 4.2, limiting the application of Regulation 4.1 until the 1st of January 2016 for certain uses. Regulation 4.1 should also be subject, specified as subject to Regulation 4.3, <coughs> pardon me, which limits the application of Regulation 4.1 as from the 1st of January 2016 for certain uses. Paragraph 6 of the schedule requires a person to whom a sulphur content of liquid fuels permit is intended to be transferred to notify SEPA of the intended transfer within 21 days of the intended date of transfer. The references to intended in paragraph 6 are made in error. The Scottish Government intends that the notification should give, be given by the person to whom a permit has been transferred within 21 days after the date of transfer. Does the committee agree to draw the regulations to the Parliament's attention on the general reporting ground? Does the committee also note, uh, however, that the Scottish Government will correct these errors by amendment in due course? No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the convener of the School Closure Review Panel Scotland Regulations 2014, SSI 2014 262, nor on the members of a School Closure Review Panel Scotland Regulations SSI 2014 at 263, nor on the Royal Conservatory of Scotland Order of Council 2014, SSI 2014 at 268. Is the committee content with these instruments, please? Thank you. Agenda item five is instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure. The Bankruptcy and Debt Advice Scotland Act 2014, Commencement Number 2, Savings and Transitionals, Order 2014, SSI 2014 at 261. The meaning of the saving provision in Article 4.1 could be clearer in the following respect. There could be a consistent use of tense in paragraphs A and B. Paragraph 1 could accordingly have made clearer that it applies to sequestrations proceedings either on a petition for sequestration presented or a debtor application made before the 1st of April 2015, regardless of whether the date of the presentation of the position or the date of making the debtor application was before, on or after the date of making this order. Does the committee agree to draw the regulations to the attention of the Parliament on the reporting ground H, as the meaning of the saving provision in Article 4 1 could be clearer? Does the committee agree to note the Scottish Government has undertaken to amend Article 4.1 and the similar provisions in SSI 2014-225 and SSI 2014-227, which have already been reported, committee, and before the instruments come into force? 
No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Housing Scotland Act 2014, Commencement No. 1, Transitional and Saving Provisions, Order 2014, SSI 2014, 264. Is the committee content with that instrument, please? Before moving on from consideration of instruments, the committee may wish to note that again this week there have been a significant number of minor points and there would have been significantly more had the legal advisers not drawn the government's attention to the minor points within the public body's instruments, which was subsequently relayed. Gender item five is Historic Environment in Scotland Bill. This item of business is consideration of the delegated powers provisions in the bill after stage two. Members will have noted that the Scottish Government has provided a supplementary delegated powers memorandum and will have seen the briefing paper. Stage 3 consideration of the bill is due to take place next Tuesday on the 4th of November. Does the committee agree to report that it is content with the provisions in the bill which have amended at Stage 2 to insert or substantially alter provisions conferring powers to make subordinate legislation and other delegated powers? If members have no other comments, then that ends item five, and I move the meeting into private. Thank you very much.